Hello there, I am Man in Yellow and welcome to a very exciting video. All of the new patch just went live. Beforehand we only had the balance changes. They came out I believe like during the night or maybe even yesterday. But now we also have all of the new phobies in the game. Which means I'm going to be opening a lot of packs and stuff like that. I actually haven't looked at any of the spoilers. So I don't know what the new units will be. Except I've seen a text collector I believe it's called. Or it's something like that. At least a guy with some papers. And then as they said that the patch was live. Which I also saw well myself because I had to restart the game. I saw the new 7 key which is a Jinsting unit. But outside of that I haven't seen anything new with it. I have not even seen the new trailer because I have been avoiding it a little bit. What I have seen is this like poster or whatever they released some time ago. Where there was a white heartbreaker. I don't know if that's a new unit or if it's just heartbreaker in white. Because it's birthday or something. But this is basically just a birthday poster. And we have the actual trailer here. All of the trailers are always awesome. So I guess I will just let it play. Wait a second. He just pushed his own foot. Let's see. Okay, this is a very, very hard Makes sense. That was not sexual. That is a fire version of the Well, that went by really, really fast. What would this? What the? This looked so cute when we first saw it. Look at that. That's adorable. And then it just. Jesus Christ. That is not a happy phobie. This is a bit surprising, though. A reverse Finnegan. I feel like you can do some really broken things with this. Like, at least if it also doesn't have a lock like Finnegan. That's really good. I think if you can move stuff like like that with the reverse heartbreak, I don't know its name. If you can do that at the same distance as normal heartbreaker, which is three tiles, so this is really really good. I don't know if that's the case. Oh, it created lava. What oh, removes that? Okay. That was just a that only moves one, right? Maybe that's This is really insane though, because you could see there, it's hitting the phobia all the way out here, so it's like a Mildred attack right now. That is pretty wild, if that's if I saw that right at least. I believe all, this is also the unit I saw, and I believe it was a larger AoE, which is pretty crazy, in my opinion. But either way, the balance changes are live. I've actually been playing a bit around with them. And I've also been using the Speedolas, which I were already a fan of before. And now I'm very much a fan of them. They are even better now. And they were already, like, not terrible before. I've also definitely felt the changes to boss and gone. So I could feel that for sure. And there's no more Cupcake, which is a blessing. I hated that unit. Anyway, let's just get straight into opening some packs because I want to see some of the new units. I have, I believe this will add up to 18 scary packs. I think I will do it down to like 35 maybe-ish. And then I will do the dreadful. So let's just start with some scary packs first at least. I'm mostly just hoping to get some of the new stuff. Also, I will maybe do a, some upgrading here in between because I will be getting puff and I actually kind of want stuff for puff i'm at least very close to getting puff i think maybe i will only get it at like the end of all of this because it takes so long to level up at higher levels nothing new so far but then again it is just scary packs I believe the chance on these are pretty terrible to be honest they may be improved for newer players because i feel like you get more new stuff when you're new which would make sense to do of course Hafni, this is the small unit that looked cool but really wasn't. A small, I don't know if it's actually small, it looked small. Yeah, it is small. 
you can kind of see sometimes if a phobia is larger by like how they make it look i guess all right this is a mech that is a lot of health for two keys like really a lot that's pretty wild i mean it can't really go on the aggressive itself but that's a very large amount of health for two keys to be honest and it gets a huge buff if you actually try to fight it like i believe k9000 has 1100 this is 1500 that's actually pretty insane to think about that is outside of Saki, i think this is the highest health two key right actually it's higher than than Saki, right Saki is only 1300 i think maybe it's 1400 that is really 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 tanky for early game unit you can take some panic points with this early without them being able to fight you seems really really good definitely want more cards for that one <laughs> that actually seems like a very strong early game unit you can't walk up and fight that with anything that's melee or just even remotely squishy and it's only two keys I don't know the ratio of like low rarity units to high rarity units for the expansion actually so maybe i'm not that likely to actually find more than like two or three phobies so far only one new but like i said this is terrible packs but yeah they are not really something you expect new out of this is just for resources most of the time Actually, they're not called terrible, they're called scary, right? Yeah, this is terrifying packs. Let's do the dreadful now, because we are down to 30k here, so that's 10 more. Really hoping to get something cool here. Pretty okay upgrade cards. Lulian, of course, got nerfed pretty hard, though. That is not a unit I want for. Buff this unit already. Why is this unit not getting buffed, by the way? It's horrible. <laughs> really cool, but horrible unit. Le Shovel. That is the reverse Finnegan, right? Yeah, it does not have a lock. That is pretty wild. You can, like, summon a big unit and then push push it out with this to reach further into the map. Or even Snowball, maybe. Right? You could move Snowball 3 out, then summon this, push the Snowball, have an extra tile of range. That might be really, really annoying on some maps. Like, you can do some really unpredictable places where they, you will just catch your opponent off guard. Okay, so only one new phobie there, but that's okay. At least I got something new out of it. Often the dreadful packs are just nothing. So, I'm happy with anything at this point. I don't know if I will actually get enough here to, to get puff from just spending 150k i don't think that's enough at all actually maybe i should just keep on doing the pack stuff i will get it eventually though i just really want to have puff because i have no line attacker and puff is also just an insane unit but i don't think this is even close to enough now that i look at it i guess i would have to have even more saved up to even get close would also have to do a ton of upgrading which would be bad for the video so let's just not do that can do that while the camera is not rolling i'm also kind of like excited to try and find out what the large new keys are large units are because i haven't really seen anything from those I feel like i don't feel like any of the phobies that we saw in the trailer were super large ones at least they didn't give that wipe nice cards for this i want some cards for that it seems really good speedola cards is also very nice because i'm gonna be using speedolas a lot from now really like speedolas let's do a single on easy because i have the have an uneven amount here 
this will not give you anything ever. Like, this is nothing. Not even worth spending the tears on. But it's just to spend all of the tears. I'm guessing I'm not getting any more new phobies than those, but that's completely alright. That's kind of what you should expect. Because, like, packs in this game are pretty horrible, to be honest. You're very unlikely to actually get new stuff. For some reason, I don't know why they made it like that. The game would be much more exciting if you got a bunch of new phobies. Then it was all about upgrading them. Instead. I will of course also make a video covering the new units like I did for the undead update. I can't even remember its name now. I believe this is supposed to be the monster update. Oh, I got Dr. Dermic. <laughs> That's not a new phobia. That has been in the game since the very beginning. Still, at least it's new. I don't think I will ever be using that though. I think Dr. Dermic is pretty terrible. Would much rather use clinical in almost every instance. But uh, yeah. I guess that was all of those resources gone. And we got two new things. Which says something about this game. But at least it's new things. Wasn't the... Yeah, the Finnegan is here. This is a cool unit because you don't even really need to upgrade it a lot for it to be good. It's also not that bad stat-wise actually now that I look at it. 450 attack is pretty decent. Yeah, I leveled up. Still a bit away from the <laughs> from the next level. But you like for one, you don't even really need stats on this because you can just use it to push something out, which will let you do pretty crazy stuff sometimes. But it actually has pretty decent stats. I feel like. I ha how much is Grave Digger? I believe Grave Digger is four hundred. This is better stats than Grave Digger. A pretty good ability, I think. Will be interesting to see. I will for sure be using this once I have it leveled too. Because this seems very, very, very good. I think half knee looks very, very strong. This will, will be very good for taking panic points. It's so tanky or two key. And it's two movement for some reason. Despite being that tanky. Like this would almost look like a three key if it just had a bit more attack. Actually pretty nuts. Either way, I guess that's everything I really wanted to do. I will be looking up which the like new phobies they put out, of course, because as you can see here, there's a 9, there's an 8. Already saw this because that's the Hematic S6. I believe one of these is the heart healing unit, but there's also a 5 I haven't seen and a 4. There's a lot of stuff in here that I haven't seen. Also, surprisingly enough, no new 1 keys, it seems. I guess they already had enough of those. And I mean, they moved Rusty down, so technically speaking, this is a new one key. This unit might actually be usable now, by the way. Like, this was absolutely terrible before. Now it can actually be used, like, as a glob or werewolf counter, I think. Stuff like that. Counter to a lot of slow melee units. Or just melee units that are very important to lock down or want to go in or something. Like, it could actually be very useful against those. I don't think there was anything else that I have to cover though. Like I said, I will be making another video with all of the phobies where I talk about them. But I will have to be once I actually know all of the new phobies. Because I don't right now. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.